Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of The Adventures of Dr. Carla and Mick. Hi, I'm Dr. Carla Cunningham, and this is my dog, Mick. She is now six months old. It's been a while since she last saw you, but we wanted to take the time to um, go over crate training tonight. Um, it's almost bedtime for Mick, and as you can see, she's uh, chilling out in her crate. And this is what a dog that's crate trained properly should look like. She's relaxed. She's very um, happy to be in there and very relaxed. Um, so what crate training is not, it, it is not jail. It is not abusive. It's not harmful. Um, it's not to be used as punishment. It is not mean. What it is, it is a safe place for her. It's helpful. It's reassuring. It's security. It's comforting to her and it's smart. And why is it smart? Well, because dogs are very social creatures. And in today's, our, lifesty our lifestyles, we're busy and we, they can't always be with us. So the crate is a safe place for them to be while we're at work, while we're at school, while we're out doing things that our dog can't be with us. Um, so there's the proper way to do crating correctly um, is to first start with, to get, as soon as you get your puppy, to get a crate. Um, now this crate we bought um, and it actually had partitions in it because she was much smaller when we first got her. So we bought a big crate but we made it small because it's really important for it to be the appropriate size. See the potty training video for that. Um, but you get that and as soon as they come home you start putting them into, into the crate and you make it a very relaxing thing. Um, you make it repetitive. You can put um, some treats in there to make it comforting. Um, an adaptal collar on a new puppy is a great uh, way to keep them quiet um, and make them feel more reassured. Uh, but putting them in the crate, shutting the crate, leaving for a short amount of time, coming back, letting them out, repeating that over and over, it did not take us very long at all for her to become very, very comfortable in this crate. Um, I'd like to point out that you need to go to our website, riversedgevet.com, and go to the pet health article um, section, and you can type in crate training. A nice little article will pop right up. If you have an adult dog that you'd like to crate train, it also can be done. It takes longer. You have to go more slowly, um, but it's a, it's a very um, good thing to do. It keeps them from destroying your house while you're gone. Um, if you've got a dog that's afraid of storms, a lot of times they will go to their crate when they're afraid. Uh, if there's, uh, for some reason, you would need to evacuate and your pet naturally goes to their house um, when they're afraid, it makes it much easier. God forbid you ever have a house fire or need to evacuate quickly when your pet is in their crate and not under the bed. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, crate training. Uh, in fact, all of my employees have dogs um, and they're all crate trained. Um, and we are, it, it just makes them a much, much better pet. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Have a great night.